Item Shadowing Item Shadowing is the ability to have an item instance in two places at once. So how do we create shadow items? Let's start off with the basics. You're first going to need an update suppressor, the inventory in which you want to make a shadow item in, and a comparator. When you put an item into the chest, the chest will give out a comparator update which this comparator will receive. When a comparator gets updated, if it's on an illegal block, such as an open trapdoor, it will pop off within the comparator update of this chest. When a comparator breaks, it gives block updates two blocks away, which update suppresses the comparator update. And so, when doing a swap operation specifically, Within the chest, with this setup, you'll see that you're able to get a shadow item. This comparator is actually broken, and it's just client side there. But these diamonds are the same. Before I go into more detail, Fallen Breath has also made a video, and it will be linked in the description below. Fun Breath will be doing the specifics and limitations of item shadowing. This video is about the contraptions and what's possible using shadow items. Before I show the contraptions, there's a few things I need to point out. Opening your inventory in creative mode will break shadow items. So as you can see right now, I have diamonds here that are shadowed. The hopper can pick them up. Although if I open my inventory, they're no longer shadow. Yeah, you can have multiple shadow items at the same time. Like so. And you can store items your shadow items inside of an ender chest. Last but not least, you can also dupe items super easily. So easily that I keep doing it accidentally. Uh, you can do it by just putting the shadow item into a dropper and firing it once. So, as I showed, if I put this in here, These will get pulled from my inventory, although if I just put it into this dropper here, using of course the swap, they're no longer connected. Let's look at the contraptions. Here we have a corridor with a bud line for an update suppressor on the floor. With all the contraptions nearby, this one you've already seen, it's the default shadow item generator. This one is the fast sucking system, and I'll give you a demo of it. And as you can see, it's decently fast. Yep, and you can also just unlink very easily by just picking up the item again, and as you'll see it's gone from here. After that, we have the fast item pushing system. This is uh, the exact opposite basically. So uh, this one's a bit harder, you have to make sure to lock the system to prevent server crashes. And you want to pull out the items that are inside. And then you want to place the comparator, do the swap, the normal stuff. And then you unlock the system. And there you go.
And then after that we have the Devnal, named after the modded item, which basically does the same thing. This is able to do uh, both a mixture of sucking and pushing, so that you're able to use an item as if it was a creative inventory slot. And over here we have the Enderpearl Stasis Chambers. Basically, you're able to do interdimensional and infinite travel from anywhere by using this setup. And that's great, and it's activated simply by throwing any item of your choice. There you go. This also allows for remote hoppers. Wireless redstone. Wireless mending. All of these contraptions work interdimensionally. Although, if you're doing it in spawn chunks, you need to consider the bug 5913. So why is this useful? Well, it allows placing large amounts of blocks without needing to refill, such as for floor placers, building map arts, large contraptions, farms, the list goes on. And it also helps for picking up large amounts of items without needing to empty your inventory for mining farm collection, quarries. There's so many more uses. Make sure to leave a comment telling me what you would use this for. Carpet Fixes already has a fix for swap shadow items. As you can see. 